And now please welcome, making his welterweight debut, the former super lightweight champion of the world, Mario de la Azteca Barrios. Now we want to bring up with a record of 29 wins, opposite one defeat, 22 wins coming by way of knockout, the former welterweight champion of the world, here is Keith, one time of Thurman. This is our main event on Saturday night, Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. Keith Thurman colliding against Mario Barrios here in Las Vegas. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You guys can take your seats. Great. Keith, before you got up here, I mentioned the fact that it has been on Saturday night, 931 days since you last competed. What emotions are you feeling like as you once again step inside the ring here in Las Vegas in the main event against Mario Barrios? I'm just happy to be here, man. I love being back, you know, where I belong, uh, which is at the forefront of the beautiful sport of boxing. Um, having to have a great challenger, Mario Barrios, stepping into the ring. You know, he's a, he's a young man. He's a capable man. Uh, I just told him he's a big little dude, you know, because he's standing over me. He's moving up a weight class. Uh, he's got these broad shoulders. With COVID and everything, we haven't been able to size each other up, man. So uh, that was a fun little five-second experience I had. You know, uh, boxers, we always size each other up. Once when we walk into a gym, you know, uh, the trainers out there, they know what I'm talking about. You walk into the gym, fighters sizing up, sizing up sparring partners. They never sparred, yada, yada, yada. But um, – it's just great, man. You know, this is boxing. This is what I love. I don't care how many days it's been since I've been in the ring. Every day of Keith Thurman's life, I think boxing. I breathe boxing. I meditate about boxing. So, you know, I'm just here to do what I do best, man, to showcase my skills and my talent to the world and to the fans once again. Mario, what did you take away from that face-off? You said that, you know, obviously because we are still dealing with COVID here in the United States, that you guys hadn't been able to face off. That was the first official stare down that you've had in person. We've done virtual press conferences in the lead up to this fight. What did you take away from that face-to-face -face meeting moments ago? I never take away too much from the face-offs. Um, all that matters to me is that we're fighting on, on, on Saturday. But uh, I knew I, I had the height advantage on him. Um, you know, like you said, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm younger, but, um, and I am the one moving up, but I'm still the, the, the bigger fighter. Now, most fighters in your position, Mario, coming off of their first loss would have taken a tune-up fight in their first fight, especially at a brand new weight class, this being 147 for you. But you're going after a former unified welterweight champion of the world. What do you think that says about you as a prize fighter? I'm in this sport to fight the best, and um, you know, there's this, I've said it before, there's never been a name that I have turned down, and um, I want to continue on testing my abilities and uh, just proving to everybody that, that, that I belong, and that's exactly why you know, we chose to, to take such, um, such a difficult fight for my first fight at welterweight. Keith, you mentioned to me on PBC's Instagram Live a few weeks ago that what you learned in the fight against Manny Pacquiao is that you want to throw more. With that being said, are we going to see a more aggressive Keith Thurman on Saturday night on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view? Well, you know, I love to uh, outpunch my opponents. There's very few opportunities where I'm unable to do that. One fight was against Sean Porter. You know, he brings a lot of punches, so I knew that I was going to have to finesse a victory and I wasn't going to be able to outpunch him. But everybody else that I've ever stepped in the ring, I always felt like I have the capacity to outpunch, outperform. When I fought Danny Garcia, he's always looking for the counter punches. His dad said, Thurman didn't throw any punches in the fight after they lost to me. And I said, well, if I didn't throw any punches, then your boy threw negative punches, you know, because I know round for round, I normally threw more punches than Danny Garcia. Um, so when I say throw more punches, 
in the Pacquiao fight, when I was walking him down, when I was putting him on the ropes, I wasn't letting my hands go. Um, I know my punch count was good for the fight, but I know I fell short. And I, I believe that I was 15 punches away from victory. So I have the wisdom, the skills, and the capabilities. I don't need to waste punches. I don't need to just throw punches to get the judges to um, give me every single round. You know, I need to land clean shots, the sharper shots, keep my defense tight. Um, there's, there's many strategies of coming away um, in those rounds. But as I see the, the warrior spirit in Mario Barrios, the more that he continues to fight, he's going to awaken me and push me to fight harder. And that's what I look forward to Saturday night. Because you're fighting a guy seven years younger than you, a guy who is aggressive in Mario Barrios, does that put extra emphasis to really crank it out in the gym and really push yourself and try to extend your limits? Because you know you're going to be fighting a guy who's aggressive, who's going to be trying to take your head off. Oh, you know, it makes me just excited about the fight, that I got somebody who wants to fight, who wants to trade, who wants to... Um, you know, he's stepping up and fighting Keith Thurman because he wants to make a name overnight. You know, the, like you, the last question that you asked him, why did you uh, take the fight with Keith Thurman? Because Mario Barrios wants to be a world-class name fighter, and I respect that. Um, but I'm, I'm here to stop him in his tracks, and that's what Saturday night's all about. Mario, you fought here in Las Vegas on the very first PBC show that was headlined by Keith Thurman and Robert Guerrero back in March of 2015. You fought on the undercard of that. Is it unbelievable for you to know that just in seven years' time that now you're going to be standing across the ring from Keith Thurman in the main event in your second straight pay-per-view headlining matchup? Absolutely. It's, um, it's uh, definitely a dream come true for me. If you would have told me on that day um, when I fought on the undercard that, you know, seven years later I would be fighting Keith Thurman himself, uh, I probably wouldn't believe you, but, you know, I stayed patient, I stayed focused, I stayed disciplined, and now I have my opportunity, you know, to to make a name in the in the World Toy Division. It's um, to move up that has been um, a long time coming, and um, but me and my team, um, we have have loved the, the results that we have had in camp, and um, I'm, I'm just excited for Saturday. You pointed out about the results in camp. This is a brand new weight class here at 147. You're going up seven pounds north. So what kind of Mario Barrios will the fans see and will the world see against Keith Thurman? They're going to they're gonna continue to see the same Mario Barrios that has always, you know, stepped in the ring. But, you know, a lot more stronger. Um, my, my speed is still there as it was, you know, at 140 or 135. Uh, movement and everything is is, is on point, and um, I mean, we're just like I said, I'm I'm just excited. Now, Keith, for you, you have fought 160 rounds over the course of your career. Of those 160 rounds, 101 of those have been championship rounds. Do you feel your experience will play a significant factor in the outcome of your fight against Mario Barrios on Saturday? Uh, definitely, you know. Um... I'm now 33 years old. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I have, you know, all these stats that you're telling me that I don't even know because I live it, you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, I, just, I just evolve and I, and I learn um, from everything, from everyone that I've ever been in the ring with. So I look forward to showcasing my skills and my talent, my poise, my experience, and just everything. And, you know, I believe that it should give me a little bit of the upper hand. You know, I believe that I'm going to be craftier than this young man is expecting. Um, I believe that I'm going to be trickier and bring dynamics that none of his sparring partners were able to bring into the ring because they cannot mimic Keith one-time Thurman. There's only one Keith one-time Thurman. Um, and I prepared very well for this fight. I had five sparring partners for this fight. And uh, we're just looking forward to Saturday night. It's going to be a great night of boxing. Everybody needs to uh, tune into the show. Now, you mentioned on Fight Camp that you have plenty more good years in you. Have you thought about your 33 years of age, how long you want to go? Is it a year-by-year -year basis? Is it a fight-by-fight -fight basis? Is it when I accomplish this particular thing in my career, you have a litany of accomplishments that you've already gone after and conquered over the course of your decade-long career? Uh, I'm here to walk the path 
of a true warrior, you know. Um, I want to push it to the limit, you know, uh, just like Floyd did, just like Pacquiao did, just like Ali did, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, and, and just all the tremendously great fighters. Um, there's been those who were tremendous, like Andre Ward, where some debated, did he hang it up early? You know, um, so as long as the warrior spirit within me, that fire, that flame is burning and it's still alive, you will continuously see Keith one time Thurman. Keith, you brought up about the warrior spirit. I'm going to go back over to Mario in the sense that, Mario, you are known as El Azteca. You are very proud of your Mexican and your Aztec heritage, the Aztecs being these fierce warriors. You demonstrated that, especially over the last few years, over the course of your recent fights. What is the key to you being involved in these back-and-forth fights that entertain and excite fight fans around the world? Um, that's, you know, that's just part of my style, you know, that's, um, every time I step in the ring, you know, I bring that intensity, I bring that, that determination, um, you, you know, you're going to have to hit me with, was it was something crazy, you know, to, to, to get me out of there. Cause I mean, if, if I get dropped, you know, I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna keep on coming. Um, it doesn't matter what, what you throw at me. Um, I'm in there, you know, to, to do whatever I can, you know, to come out victorious. And um, that's exactly what, you know, I, I try doing every time I step in that ring. Against Keith Thurman, obviously not divulging your game plan, but you are obviously the taller fighter, but you like to mix it up on the inside as well. What are some things that you feel you have to do on Saturday in order to get your hand raised against the former welterweight champion of the world? I'm I'm, I'm had to you know do it all. Um, you know Thurman is a, is you know it was the most difficult fight that was presented to me, and that's why you know I took it. Um, he can box, he can bang, he has good movement, and um, you know so um, during camp we we had to get ready you know for for every style uh, possible you know because we know he he could do it all, but um, you know as he was saying. Uh, I believe, you know, we, we have the potential to bring out the best out of each other. And, man, it's, it's, it's going to be a hell of a night of boxing. You know, this is definitely a fight that y'all don't want to miss out on. Mario Barrios, the former super lightweight champion of the world. What kind of splash are you hoping to go ahead and make against Keith Thurman in your main event on pay-per-view Saturday night? I, like I've said in, um, you know, these other interviews and everything, I'm looking to make a statement. Um, you know, I'm trying to put the what's away division on notice that, you know, Mario Barrios is here. And, um, you know, like I said, I mean, Keith Thurman, he's a great fighter. He does a lot of great things. But it's my job, you know, to go in there on Saturday night and do everything better. And that's exactly what I intend on doing. Now for your adversary, Keith Thurman. The talking is now over, but Keith, you know how to sell a fight. You are certainly a unique personality in the sport of boxing. It seems that you are really looking forward to putting on a great show, but what do you want to tell the fans and the public out there as you prepare to take on Mario Barrios here in Las Vegas? You know, this is my presidential campaign, baby. I am back. Keith One Time Thurman is back. The Walter Wade division is back. Because without me, yo, it's been whack. At the end of the day, man, I bring the most exciting fights at 147. The most exciting fights. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Udenis Ugas, with a belt, without the belt. Keith One Time Thurman is the champion of today. Period. And that's the statement I'm making Saturday night. Keith Thurman, he's back and ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, against Mario Barrios. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.